Yo, what's up guys? I am here today to talk to you about another Pokemon Go episode and what better place to film this video than to be outdoors where the Pokemon are usually roaming. See, I've been doing a lot of research and I've been walking around, driving around, and going to Pokestop gyms, all that stuff, catching a lot of Pokemon, leveling up, and all that. So I'm gonna share my knowledge with you in these series of videos of my tips and the tricks on how to succeed and be a Pokemon Go master. Yo! Sis, don't Versace my cologne. My city I put on. I did it on my own. Bitch, I'm more than Joe and Song. Call me what you want. Just don't call when I'm in my zone. Gotta put my phone on airplane mode. All my niggas share it. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about catching high level Pokemon, where they come from, how you get higher level Pokemon, how you succeed in catching them, and the proper steps to take in getting them and making sure you've caught them. Right, so you come across low level pokemon we're talking like cp low level cp and like you'll come across a pidgey that's like 10 cp which is i think as low as they can go and then you get some pidgeys that are like 100 120 and then i've got some pidgeys that are 270 280 but i'll explain why i'll explain why you catch lower pokemon when you are low experience level the higher you get up in level you obviously will catch better pokemon and have better chances to get the nicer pokemon out there in the world the higher cp all that good stuff but then when you have your levels all leveled up i explained that you got to be a bigger level to get better pokemon so yeah you have your level up really high you're seeing really nice pokemon but you're unsuccessful in catching them most of the time you're wasting pokeballs and you are wasting your time you're out there walking and you want to keep connection with where that Pokemon is located and you want to catch it, keep moving. There's a Pokestop nearby you don't want to keep walking and miss. So yeah, well first of all, you need to get, if you're a high level, you need to get to your Great Balls and your Ultra Balls. You need to have some. Ultra Balls are like at level 20 or something like that. Great Balls are like 12 or 10, 11, 12, 13, something. I don't really remember which they were. I do not have Ultra Balls yet, but I do have Great Balls and they do help a lot when I'm out there catching Pokemon. So yeah, you can make the judgment whether to switch over from a Pokeball to a Great Ball to an Ultra Ball, but I would recommend if it's really high, if it's high for you, use your best ball. If you think it's high, use your best ball, whether it's still a Pokeball or a Great Ball or an Ultra Ball. For those of you that do only have the Pokeballs, there is something that in the low single digit levels you do get, and that is Raspberries. And when I first started the game, I did not think that all this fancy stuff was going to mean a lot to me. And it was going to be of very good use. But I do use them now. As you guys will see, raspberries, it's not like factual proven, but raspberries do increase your catching ability. By giving them the raspberry, it somehow, I don't know, distracts them something that it makes it easier for you to catch on the next Pokeball throw. You could throw a Pokeball and you miss, so they break out, something like that, and then you throw a Raspberry and then another Pokeball. Or right off the bat, if you have a lot of Raspberries, just throw a Raspberry and get your Pokemon first try, nearly first try. Depending on what ball you're using, your judgment, all Pokemon are different. Something's going to happen, something might not. When there is one last thing that I can tell you guys that does help, and I heard about it, I read about it, and it is the curveball on your Pokeball when catching your Pokemon. You just spin the ball around, you guys will see you spin the ball around with your finger and then you throw it out uh, to either side a little bit depending on which way you are spinning and it should curve in and it's supposedly making the Pokemon easier to catch. It's not very proven but I really only throw curveballs now so if you guys watch these videos it's what I'm going to be throwing just for the fact of I throw those way better than a regular throw. And then your chances increase even more when you get the great, the excellent, and the nice. It goes nice, great, excellent. Those are your better throws. Excellent's amazing. You should catch it very easily. Great, so good. Nice is all right. And you get XP for curveballs. Nice, great, and excellent. You get experience for all that. Just a little added bonus. So yeah, there you go. Use your better balls for the better CP Pokemon. And then use your raspberries on almost anything you want to make sure you catch. And then throw your curveball in there. Get good at that just for the added security that you know you're going to catch this Pokemon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these couple tips. There will be more of these videos to come. Thank you guys for watching. Give this a big thumbs up. If it did help you, subscribe to this channel. It will be Pokemon and shoe content. Probably more shoe content than Pokemon. But I will try to get some Pokemon out there. Right as it's coming. Right as everyone's getting the game. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video.
Have a great day. Enjoy your Pokemon hunting and stay safe. Be Carry Customs. I'll catch you guys next video. I'm out.